Hey YouTube, it's iHacks here. Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to put any one of my themes on the iPod. Originally I wasn't going to do this just because there are already so many videos out there that teach you how to put custom themes on iPods, but you guys kept requesting so here's the video. First thing you're going to want to do is head over to my YouTube page and you're going to want to click on any, either one of the ones that have uh, my theme on it. I'm just going to click the one that's most viewed. You're going to want to go over here where it says more info, read, etc. And you're going to go here and you're going to highlight the link and copy it and then paste it. And then it's going to take you to send space, which is going to look like this. And you scroll down, and right there it's going to say download link themes.zip. So it is working, it's right there. And um, I just downloaded it yesterday because uh, it was going to take 10 minutes to download, but I promise you it's the same exact file. I downloaded it right off my, my website, my link, everything. And the folder's going to look like that after it's done, the themes folder. And what you're going to get is this uh, red blue and green so pick whichever one you like um, right now I only have red on my iPod so go ahead and pick green and you're gonna double click it it's gonna unzip it standard function that all computers should have and then once you've got it like that you're gonna click double click into it again and that's gonna be my actual theme right there the iHack screen and that's the RTF file that I advise everyone to read if they don't know what they're doing. But you should have no problem because I'm actually making this video to cover all that up. So then you're going to go to your SSH client, WinSCP or CyberDuck for Mac. And after you log in, you're going to go to backslash right here. You're going to go to var right there and then stash and then themes and then as you can see there's no iHack screen in here so I'm just going to grab it from right over here and drop it in. Make sure that it's not inside one of these folders but it's in the folder like the entire folder itself so just drop it in a blank spot like that it's going to ask you if you're going to allow it and you just say ok going to take a little while because it is a pretty large theme so um, if you guys could just be patient but um, while this is downloading or uploading I don't know whichever one you're transferring to my iPod um, just a quick tip of advice if you guys do have SSH on your iPods which means like you can wirelessly transfer files back and forth make sure you have an on and off switch so that way people can't, um, you know, hack into your iPods and screw everything up because um, when you're in public places like any type of school, high school, college, uh, like I sit down and I have access to everyone's iPods, so it could be cool if everyone could put a lockdown on that because I don't do anything bad, but, you know, I don't trust anybody else. So uh, just a quick tip, and um, there, are vi there are YouTube videos on that just... Just, uh, you know, YouTube search it. So, almost done here. Just be a little bit longer. If you guys could be patient for me. I don't know how to do all that cool editing when you can just cut out the scene and come back. So. Almost done. So now this is complete, right there. You're gonna head over to your iPod, go into your winter board, that's mine right there. And as you can see, it says iHack screen up there. I'm gonna unselect my old one, select my new one, and then press the center button. Give it a little second.
Okay, there you go. See, everything's green. It's going to come up with something, so I got to hide it real quick. It just says my name on there. All right. So there you go. There it is, guys. So uh, just do that for whatever theme that you guys want. Okay? Hope it helps. See ya.